this was the moment for Bilbo's plan. Oh, y yes. I decided to take the Arkenstone over to the enemy. <laughs> well, not that I thought of them as the enemy, but those dwarves were so stubborn. Torin had often said that the Arkenstone was beyond price to him. In fact, it made it very clear that anyone finding it and not handing it over to him straight away would be dealt with very sharply. Very sharply indeed. But so determined was Bilbo to stop any fighting before it started. That evening, he took the Arkenstone from its hiding place, wrapped it in a rag, and climbed over the barricade down towards the lower course of the stream. He was nearly across when he missed his footing on a round stone and fell into the cold water. Who goes there? What? I'm, I'm Mr. Bilbo Baggins, B-A-W-G-I. <coughs> Companion of Torrin Oakenshield, if you want to know. Companion of Torrin? And what might be your business? Yes, well, whatever it is, it's my own, my good elves. And if you ever wish to get back to your woods, you'll take me to the bard or whatever you know, and, and to your king as quick as may be. Brave words, Hobbit. Yeah. Very well. Follow us. Yes, buck up. I'm frozen. Yes, dripping wet in a coat of mithril. What's he doing here? What indeed? This is their tent. Enter. Oh, thank you very much. It's Bilbo Baggins. Sir Hobbit. He said he wished to speak with you, my lord. Did he? And what have you to say to us, Mr. Baggins? Uh, well, uh, Mr. Mr. Bard, um, your your, ma your Majesty, um, sire, uh, yes. Um, <coughs> you see, <coughs> it's about this impossible situation. Smaug is dead. Uh, I mean, yes. Uh, and there's more than enough treasure for everyone. And yet, it looks as though all these people, the men, elves, and the dwarves, are going to fight over it. And I mean, if, they, if they're going to fight over it, well, someone is bound to be killed. We and are I quite ready to accept any reasonable terms that Tori may offer. He has heard our demands and has not seen fit to reply. Yes, well... There I... need be no battle. Well, with the humblest respect, uh, the King of the Wood Elves doesn't know the King of the Dwarves as well as I do. Indeed? No. Oh. You see, uh, Torrin is quite prepared to sit on that heap of treasure and starve as long as you remain here. Well, let him. Such a fool deserves to starve. Yes, but uh, do you know about Dane and his followers from the Iron Hills? They're only two days' march away, you know. Well, we knew of Dane, but not that he was so close. Why do you tell us this? Well... Are you betraying your friends, or are you threatening us? No, 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 no neither, Mr. Bard, neither. I'm, I'm merely... Well, I'm merely trying to avoid trouble for all concerned. Uh, yes. Now, I will make you an offer. An offer? What is it? Well, it's... <laughs> this. This is the Arkenstone of Train, the heart of the mountain. It is also the heart of Torin. He values it above a river of gold. I give it to you. It will aid you in your bargaining. But how is it yours to give? Well, it, yes, well, uh, well, I mean, it isn't exactly. But, well, I am willing to let it stand against all my claim, don't you know? I mean, I, I, may, I may be a burglar, or, or so they say. Personally, I, I never felt in the least bit like one. But, but I am an honest one, more or less, I hope. A anyway, I, I'm going back now, and the dwarves can do what they like to me. I... I hope you'll find it useful. Bilbo Baggins. Yes? You are more worthy to wear that coat of mithril than many who have looked more comely in it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, thank you, my Lord King. But I advise you to remain with us. Oh, no, no. I'm Here you that. shall be honoured and thrice welcome. Well, it, it's most kind of you, I'm sure, but I, I don't think I ought to leave my friends like this after all we've been through together, you know. I, I really must be going, and, and quickly. As you wish. My elves will guide you to a safe ford across the stream. No, <coughs> and uh, set you dry on the other side. Oh, thank you. Most kind. Good night. Good night, Mr. Baggins. Uh, good night, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bard. Good night, little hobbit. May fortune bring us together again. Yes. Soon. Uh, uh, so <coughs>